Hello, welcome to the Long Island Weather Update, an absolutely frigid Saturday. Oh boy, is it really cold out there tonight too. Uh, yeah, even I deal with the cold pretty well, and I like the cold. Even the bit of challenge, a bit of a challenge tonight, I think. Uh, those winds are still kicking, and uh, you can see some clouds over us. Some actually some high clouds, some lower clouds uh, uh, over us. Uh, we did start off clear though this today, uh, this morning. Uh, we had some fairly sunny skies. You can see here's the snow cover. Here's the high-resolution satellite. But then by, I guess, middle of the day, I guess we started seeing some clouds pop up here, uh, though it still really wasn't terrible. Um, you know, we did have a decent amount of sunshine until that time. Uh, so I could have actually been in the Pine Barrens early in the morning, but it was so cold, man. You know, <laughs> just try for tomorrow. Um, uh, but uh, you can see, uh, anyway, it'll show you some pictures from tonight. Uh, of the lakes. We still have open water here on a lot of the lakes. This is uh, Twin Lakes Preserve in Wansaw. This is Mill Lake in Rockville. So you can see a little bit of ice here. So there's a little bit of ice, but this is still open water here. Um, it's quite pretty, though, taking these pictures at night. Um, you can see there. There's the kind of clouds we have. Again, a lot of cirrus clouds and some lower clouds in there. And uh, I don't think that's Virga. I think that's just cirrus. And then you can see there's a little bit of ice on the lake there, maybe even a little bit of steam coming off that lake too, perhaps. Might even see some, there might have been some sea smoke today, perhaps, in some of the colder areas. Um, but anyway, uh, let's go to the radar next here. You'll see that there are some snow showers actually offshore, not that far offshore too, actually, you can see. Uh, ocean effect, uh, and they're probably getting some ocean effect on the Cape too. You can see it looks like they got some snow over there. Then we got some lake effect upstate. Um, but other than that, staying fairly dry. Um, let's go to the, um, close the satellite up here. Oh, I guess we could look at the Kona satellite view. Just to give you an idea again, you can see all plenty of clear skies and basically all the way down from the Midwest, all the way down to the Southeast, pretty much. You know, we're stuck in the cyclonic flow, so we're dealing with some of the clouds. I think we'll have less of those tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, so our climate statistics for today, looking at Islip, our high was only 25. Actually, we did make it to 25, so that's warmer than I thought it was going to get. Uh, so, you know, you know, you typically get these kind of air masses uh, in the winter. Um, you know, it's a little more atypical as if we were only in the teens. That would have been that would have been truly frigid, but compared to the way it's been, you know, it feels pretty cold out there. So the high was 14 degrees below normal. The low of 17 was 7 degrees below normal, and that puts us 10 degrees below normal for the day as far as temperatures go. Central Park uh, got down to, to, uh, to 11 degrees below normal today. Uh, so, yeah, quite chilly today, uh, quite chilly, and um, but no records broken. No, not record. We always have record-breaking warmth, but we never have record-breaking cold. That's another sign of climate change right there even though you know you know it's cold out there it's not record breaking we're always breaking warm records but we're never seen we never seem to be breaking record lows um so let's go look at our current conditions outside you can still see the wind chill uh warnings all the way through wind chill advisories all the way down through the south though it's going to start moderating after tomorrow this cold air mass really went straight more to the south i think than it did even toward us, I think. Like St. Louis, Missouri is 4 degrees right now. So, you know, the really cold air seems to have gone more toward them uh, than anywhere else. Springfield is only 3 degrees right now. So Springfield, if you're in Springfield right now, uh, well, this is Willard, uh, but they're 3 degrees with a dew point of negative 2. And uh, take a look at the kind of day they had today. I think they only made it into the teens today. So, yeah, they only made it into the teens. And they had, they had the nice clear skies. Uh, we never got into that because we were stuck in the cyclonic flow. Except, unfortunately, the heart of this air mass, the really good quality part of it went to the Midwest. And uh, never really, we never really got, got here. We'll get a little piece of it tomorrow, I think. Uh, but, you know, they've been enjoying some nice frigid days, really cold, uh, you know, uh, days with uh, clear skies. We haven't really had that. Um, so uh, let's, hopefully we can do it tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, so let's go take a look at our current conditions outside in our area, and you'll see we've got temperatures in the teens. It's still cold, all right, and that wind makes it feel colder. So that's the thing over in Saint, in Missouri, it's cold, but that wind isn't blowing. I'd rather have, I like those frigid days where you have, you know, a little bit of a wind, but nothing too crazy, uh, and uh, just sunshine, blue skies. Um, and uh, not a cloud in the sky. Unfortunately, we couldn't make that happen today. Couldn't even get Virga uh, <laughs> when we did have clouds, which is a little disappointing, I guess, you know. Uh, but anyway, it's 19 degrees at Islip, so take a look at what the day was like at Islip. 
Uh, and you'll see that dew point is higher at Islip as well versus um, versus St. Louis, Missouri. Um, but you'll see yeah, mid thirties, mid mid twenties, I should say, generally for the day. And you can see the clouds popping up in the afternoon. Uh, but we did have a good up to like almost twelve thirty. We really were pretty clear. It was not too bad of a day actually. And, uh, it was it was definitely more sun than I expected uh, today. You still see those wind gusts to like twenty seven. So you still got those really crazy wind chills out there. Looking at our highs today, highs only in the tw in the mid twenties, pretty much. Maybe some upper twenties in Jersey. Eh, more like mid twenties everywhere. Pretty much with that wind, it's going to be pretty uniform with the lows too. I imagine uh, lows in the mid yeah mid teens generally. Uh, though we did get down to 12 at Robert J. Miller Air Park in the Pine Barrens, West of Toms River, which is colder than our 18 at West Hampton. Uh, so let's go to the models now, and uh, you'll see that heart of that cold air just dived right down to the Midwest. If we, again, look at our um, Bentu sky, which I'll show you here, you'll see that that's, that's the heart of the cold air. It's still staying there. It's not really coming here. It's just instead, it's going straight south uh, versus... Um, over where we are so again you can see we're kind of just on the edge of that trough here the heart of it really went into the midwest and kind of just missed us and then once it starts moving toward us it's of course going to be modified and then it's going to start moving more quickly uh so we're going to look at dew points here and it kind of shows you the core of the again the core of this dry air here it's not even close to us this is the core of it right here so we never really got into the core of it and had it gone right over us boy we would have had a much much colder uh colder uh, temperatures here and i mean it's crazy how far south this is going you know that's the thing like missouri and stuff you wouldn't think missouri would be a cold place but it is you know springfield i mean you know and of course they got to enjoy some nicely clear it is showing clouds but i think it was mostly clear over there you know what we can actually if we want to do that yeah let's go to the satellite maybe there were some clouds during the day let's do that let's go to the um modus satellite and see if there were any yeah, remember, this is just snow cover. I don't think there were any clouds there, so I think they had a clear day. Um, and we did for part of it, but I think tomorrow we'll, we'll definitely do better. But anyway, let's go to the models here, and you'll see this big high pressure here. That's what's keeping it clearer over there. We're more under the influence of this cyclonic flow over here with the tighter isobars. But as we move into Sunday, you'll notice that cyclonic flow wanes a little bit, uh, and that high gets closer to us. Um, and where that high is is where you're going to have the clearer skies. Um, and then... That high finally moves, starts moving east uh, and uh, on Monday, which is going to get us into more of a return flow, which means probably um, maybe more clouds and, uh, you know, probably more clouds, especially toward the afternoon, high clouds rolling in. Of course, it'll be it'll be warmer again. So um, let's uh, take uh, so that kind of gives you the general idea. I'm only going to cover the weather from now through, I guess, Monday, and we'll talk more about the long range tomorrow night. Uh, but let's go and look at the HRRR, zero Z model run of the HRRR, and you'll see here that again that we still have those tight isobars tomorrow, so we're still going to be dealing with the wind. Unfortunately, if that high would go right over us, then we'd get a little respite from the wind. But we're still going to have to deal with that breeze tomorrow, which will make it feel colder. And then Monday, the winds come a little more westerly. As you see the high starting to move offshore and getting in a pretty much in that position it's going to bring us a warmer airflow so you can see that cold air kind of what's going on here i can kind of draw it out for you here um, well now i'm gonna to have to go to the eastern u.s view here um, but the problem is here is that we'll draw it out what happens here and what we're missing out on the best of this cold air mass and it kind of sucks but we are um the real, the real cold air kind of went down like this. You know, it's kind of coming down like this, all right? So it's going straight down, all right? It's not really coming toward us. So we move this along here, and you'll see that. Let me get this off of here. We put this to this. So we move this along here, and you'll see that that just kind of dives to the south and kind of just kind of misses us in a way, so... Uh, so we're not really getting into the heart of what we could have had. Um, and I don't know when our next chance will be. We'll talk about that more tomorrow night, um, obviously. So uh, let's go back to the local area. And actually, yeah, we can keep kind of keep that view up for, now, for a minute here. So we'll look at our temperatures to kind of show you what happens tomorrow. So you can see that really cold air again going to the south. You see that. And then um, it kind of just lifts on out. And it goes back to the northeast and kind of misses us. 
So, yeah, I know it kind of sucks. Uh, but anyway, let's get a little closer to our area now, and we'll look at the temperatures on the HRRR. So tonight, we have those winds, so we're not going to drop below the teens again. No record-breaking cold, no single digits. Um, uh, but it'll still be pretty cold out there. It is still very cold out there. I'm not, this is not to say that it's not, but it's not as cold as it could have been or should have been, for that matter. Um, you know, um, you know, when I was growing up, high, having days where highs in the teens were a commonplace in the winter. Now it's so hard to get them. Um, so here we go uh, for uh, tomorrow. You can see highs. Now the model's kind of under, uh, you know, a little bit under. So tomorrow I'm leaning more toward upper 20s tomorrow to maybe getting close to 30 degrees. We still stay below freezing, though, however. Uh, and then tomorrow night, if we can allow for clear skies, tomorrow night could be very cold. So hopefully if the winds drop and we get out of the winds, we could have lows around 10 degrees in a lot of areas, 10 to 15 above. And in the Pine Barren, single digits maybe even to near zero. Um, and you kind of need those really, really bitterly cold temperatures uh, in, the, in the woods to, to kill off all the pests. And then for your Monday, that's when we recover back into the mid-30s again. Uh, looking at our dew points and wind flow, you'll still see here we've got the low, low dew points in our area here, uh, and we stay in those lower dew points with the northwest wind tomorrow uh, again. And then as we get toward Monday, you'll see the wind swing around to the west, southwest, and that brings dew points up a little bit, and that will spring the temperatures back up again. So... We'll take a look at a couple of soundings now. Oh, my shoulders. I'm thinking about the cold weather. It really is hurting my wasn't that shoulder. I got that same shoulder problem I had last year. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go look at some soundings here. All right, we'll take 16Z. Start with Long Island here, and this is the HRRR. They look pretty far apart, so that's good. Uh, let's see uh, Jersey here. A little closer together there. That's the thing. It's like indicating there's whatever there is, there is some moisture over Jersey that might cause some more cloudiness there here is the 18z and you can see they're getting closer together over jersey and then for long island they're a little further apart so more likely to have clearer skies on long island uh, i think for tomorrow perhaps um though yeah i still think it'll be mostly sunny even in jersey but you might just see a few more of those stratocumulus clouds you know residual lake effect lake effect moisture or whatever probably or something like that um let's go and and we can i think if I move this to Monday, it's going to be too far in advance to give us a sounding. Let's see. Yeah, it's probably not going to let us do it. Oh, here we go. So you see as you get to Monday, that's when you start seeing the mid-level and upper-level moistures increase. That's when you see more clouds. So uh, let's, speaking of clouds, we'll go to the GFS now. and we'll, cause That's the main challenge here with forecasting. So here's the GFS kind of showing some cloudiness again. You know, residual cloudiness, again, the cyclonic flow, the lake effect, you know, moisture that we have lingering around here. Um, as we get toward later in the day, Sunday, it's still showing a little something over Jersey. I think clearer skies would be more likely over Long Island. So if you want your really nice blue skies, probably Long Island north of the city and maybe a few more clouds again as you get toward Jersey. Uh, and if we take a sounding, I guess that would kind of max. So look at the GFS. You can see even though Long Island, they're a little close together. You still have a little bit of that moisture there uh, whereas if you go over here um yeah they're much closer together in new jersey though so still have a little bit of that we'll have to watch for the develop of some stratocumulus clouds perhaps even on the ground you know it won't be we don't know if it's going to be like a nice crystal clear sky like you, we used to get all the time uh but um moving it along here um you'll see sky stay clear tomorrow night and if the winds are light enough that's when we'll have to watch for that radiational cooling Monday, we'll start off maybe clear, and then we'll have to watch for these increasing high clouds coming in. Um, and if we take a look at a sounding for Monday, you know, let's take a 12Z sounding on this for over Long Island. Uh, yeah, you see that increasing upper-level moisture. So if you want your nice sunny skies, I suggest, yeah, tomorrow is probably going to be your best day for it. Um, now let's go to the RGM. All right, so this is the RGM model, which actually... Handled today, but this is actually is still the 18Z run. So uh, you have plenty of clouds tomorrow, tonight, but then they clear out toward morning, and then the RGM doesn't have any clouds anywhere. Um, has it clear everywhere. And then for Monday, it still has mostly sunny for most of the day until we get toward the afternoon. This may be overly optimistic. All right, so um, that's pretty much a look at the cloud models. But we should have more sunshine tomorrow. It shouldn't feel as nasty as today. 
uh, and uh, hopefully we'll have a decent day to go to the Pine Barrens again and hopefully finally get farther away. <laughs> um, because I really do want to get further away. I haven't been further away in a number of weeks now. Um, you know, because the weather has just been so bad. We finally, you know, it's hard to get a sunny day. You know, it really is. Uh, so uh, let's uh, go to the, uh, we'll go, now that we looked at all that, I'm just going to go to the Ventu Sky site, which is another site here we can look at here for the winds. And I just want to look at this, take a look at the winds for tomorrow. So um, you'll still have those winds. Let's see, wind gusts here. Still gusting to 22, so it's still going to be breezy, and it's still going to give you a wind chill. It's probably still going to feel like it's in the teens with that wind chill, but hopefully we'll have more sunshine. And let's see what happens tomorrow night. Do we lose these winds a little bit? And it's still showing we lose them a little bit. So I think maybe we'll get to see some radiational cooling perhaps tomorrow night. Um, we'll have to see what happens. I think it's more likely that you're going to see it more inland versus at the coast. Even West Hampton may not get it, while Jersey might get it. Uh, like I said, if we do get it, with those dew points, if we look at our dew points here, um, our dew points in the whoa, it's not what I meant to do. Dew points, uh, yeah, it shows the dew points coming back to the teens. So we'll have to see. But again, lower dew points, clear skies, uh, will generally mean uh, that you could see some radiational cooling for tomorrow night. But as far as tonight goes, I don't think we're going to see it with the clouds and the winds. Um, and again, tomorrow, this is what it looks like. If I show the clouds on here, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's showing like maybe almost 50% cloud cover in midday over Jersey, whereas Long Island, oh, maybe, maybe 0 to 10%. So um, we're likely to go to Long Island than to New Jersey. So I'm going, I'd rather go out east anyway. But uh, I say, <laughs> well, we talk about that in a, on another video here. But yeah, it's 11 o'clock, showing 50% cloud cover here. It's showing 10%. So. This is another another model we can use for cloud cover. But you can see it's all coming from the lakes. You know, if you're over here where the center of this high is, like Louisville, you're, you don't have to worry at all. Um, and like I said, Springfield enjoyed some uh, clear, I think they had some clear skies today. If you were in Springfield, Missouri. I mean, Missouri. <laughs> of all places, gets, gets, it's the colder air than we do. It's something is wrong. Uh, we're supposed to be getting all that cold air. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for this uh, Long Island weather update. So... Stay warm tonight. It's still it's still very very cold out there, and that wind chill just makes it feel you know that much worse. Obviously, but again, this is what winter used to be like. Uh, but like I said, it's harder and harder to get uh, these kind of things and enjoy it because uh, the week ahead looks really sucky, and uh, without any really cold air and plenty of rain chances. So you know, enjoy it. We've got a few more days here before we're back in the crap. Anyway. I'll have a longer weather update for you tomorrow night. Have a good night.